So what is crypto mining? As Bitcoin reaches new all-time highs, more and more people are gonna be looking into crypto mining. Today, I'm gonna to answer the top 10 questions on crypto mining, and hopefully when you leave this video, you'll know exactly what crypto mining is, and you can decide if it might be right for you. Let's get into the top 10 questions for crypto mining. The mining portion is accomplished by your hardware running algorithms to solve complex mathematical problems. And the first person to solve that problem wins a block. And that means they get the coin rewards from that block. Question number two, what are the various types of crypto mining? As I mentioned before, there's CPU mining, GPU mining, and ASIC mining. Now, there's a lot of other variations, but those are the main three that we'll cover in this video. GPU mining is using a general purpose computer part that would be in gaming PCs and workstations that are used in normal offices. Graphics cards are great at solving this sort of complex mathematical equations that crypto mining requires. CPUs are also general purpose computer hardware, but they specialize in solving a different kind of algorithm. So most of the time you can CPU mine different coins than you can GPU mine. They run different algorithms where each sort of hardware is better at solving those. ASICs are generally the most expensive mining hardware that you can buy and that stands for Application Specific Integrated Chip. And those are purpose-built pieces of hardware specifically for mining and that way they can have much better power efficiency and much higher hash rates but they only can mine that one algorithm. So if something happens to that coin or profitability starts to go down, you can't take an ASIC and mine a different coin unless it's on the same algorithm. So that's the main downside with an ASIC. So I know the question a lot of you guys are gonna ask, is crypto mining profitable? Well, right now, ASIC mining is extremely profitable. GPU mining just recently became profitable again at an average electric rate of about 10 cents per kilowatt hour. And CPU mining is actually even more profitable than GPU mining right now because CPU mining uses less electricity and therefore you have more headroom. So what is the main strategy with crypto mining? Well, there's really two. You can either mine for profit or you can mine for yield. Mining for profit consists of finding the coin that's most profitable to mine that day and then selling it as soon as you get your payout into either US dollars or maybe transferring to Bitcoin. Mining for yield is when you want to hold and accumulate the coin that you're mining. And in that situation, you're not gonna mine the most profitable of a coin. You're gonna look for the coin that the least amount of people are mining. And therefore with less people mining it, your payouts in terms of the actual coin are gonna be higher. So in that situation, you mine a ton of a coin and you hold on to it in hopes that the price skyrockets over time. For those of you who wanna get started with crypto mining, a big question a lot of people ask is, can you mine crypto just on your home PC? And the answer is, it depends. If you bought a graphics card in the last three to four years, there's a high chance that that graphics card will be able to mine and be profitable. Now, if you just have a general Dell PC from five, 10 years ago, it's likely not gonna be able to mine, and if it can, it's not gonna be profitable after electricity costs. A good way to check this is just to go to a site called Hashrate NO and look up the GPU that you have in your computer, and you can also check your CPU as well, and that will show you with your electricity cost put in there if you are profitable or not at that power cost. What is the best cheap crypto miner? Well, again, there's a couple answers to it. For $1,000, if you went the GPU route, you could probably build a GPU mining rig with about four graphics cards if you really penny pinched. Another option, if you wanted to go the ASIC route, is you could buy a KS0 Pro. This is a cheaper ASIC. It's not gonna run in the tens of thousands like some of the other ASICs are, and it's a very efficient CASPA miner. You could also go the CPU route. In that case, $1,000 will probably get you two to three CPU rigs. Right now, the, the 3900X is probably the best CPU for mining, so I encourage you guys to check Hashrate NO and look at the numbers there and see which mining method would you prefer. Next question, what is the best GPU for mining? Well, this is a very hotly debated subject in the crypto mining community. 
there's a couple different methods to look at it. You can go for efficiency. You can go for the most hash rate. Personally, I'm a big believer in the 3070 and the 3060 Ti, which is what the vast majority of my farm consists of. I think these cards are a perfect mix between profitability, efficiency, and overall low cost. So I love those cards. What does a crypto mining rig consist of? How is it different from a normal computer? Well, it's really not that different. You have your motherboard, and instead of having one graphics card, you have up to 12 graphics cards, and they plug in via these little riser cables instead of going directly into the motherboard. The only other difference will likely be you'll need some additional power supplies, but besides that, I like to explain it to people that it's just a normal computer with a lot of extra graphics cards. Another hot question people like to ask is, is crypto mining risky? And really anything involving crypto is risky, but crypto mining specifically is somewhat of a hedge or a less risky bet to get into crypto. That's because you're purchasing hardware instead of the coins themselves. What this does is it's going to cap your upside but it's also going to cap your downside. I have a lot of videos on my channel explaining kind of why mine crypto instead of buy crypto. So if you have a little more questions on that topic, head over to my channel and you'll find everything you're looking for. Last but not least, do you need special software to mine crypto? Well, technically, yes you do, but the good news is it's free. The easiest way to do it is just to download an app like NiceHash or Cryptex on your main PC, and then that will automatically utilize your GPU and your CPU, assuming that they're good enough to mine and they're profitable, and that app will do all of it for you. Once you get a little more advanced though, you can look into getting a Linux-based operating system like HiveOS, and that way you can control your farm on your phone. It makes it super easy. So yes, you do need special software, but the good news is there's millions of videos on YouTube about it and it's all free. If you have any more questions about crypto mining, head over to my channel. I've got a ton of videos on mining, setting everything up, and I love getting people into the hobby because not only is it a hobby, but it's also a potential way to make income somewhat passively. So, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching and uh, peace.